This video is for educational purposes only. Only test your own hardware. Doing otherwise is illegal. Don't be a skid. What's going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and we're back at it again. Recently, a community member named Red, or Infosec Red, reached out to Muse with a really cool project he's been working on. This project was a super simple, super easy drag and drop payload encryption script. What this script is, it'll basically take a PowerShell script and it will encode it and make it usable on any Ducky script, Flipper Zero, bad USB device. It's super cool. Not only does it create the bad USB script from a PowerShell script, it also encodes it in Base64. Also, in talking to Red, he asked me if I knew of anybody else who had a working keylogger Flip Flipper Zero, and I know Jacoby's keylogger is now being flagged by Windows Defender, so yeah, I didn't know anybody who had one working right now. Well, that's when he let me know that he actually had been working on not just a keylogger, but a credential stealer. This thing's an absolute monster. And he said, as long as I promise not to leak the code, I could use it and make a video about it. Now, I have used a ton of bad USB scripts. I've covered a bunch before in videos, but this one's different. This one is absolutely diabolical, and the way it works is really crazy. So I'm super excited to have the opportunity to show you guys. Hey, Future Squatch here. For those of you who don't know, I actually record all my videos a week in advance. This was recorded on Sunday, and now it's Thursday. Since then, Red has been at it for hours and hours making some really cool stuff. We've got an entirely new script. It's a file grabber, but it's also got a command and control server. It's got a kill switch, a global kill switch. It might be the most advanced bad USB ever seen on Flipper Zero. So stay tuned. It's well worth every second of it. It's such a cool thing. Got to check it out. So let's quit messing around and get right at it. This one's going to be a heavy hitter. Now, even though I'm not distributing this bad USB script, I still have to preface everything saying that using a keylog or credential stealer on anything that's not yours is completely illegal. Cannot do it. Don't be a skid. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna show you how to use the payload encryptor. This thing's super simple, super easy. It's a really cool idea. It basically obfuscates the entire payload so that you know the average viewer has no idea what's going on. So let's hop on over to the desktop and see how that works. We're just gonna head on over to Infosec Red's GitHub. This is where he's got really cool projects. He's got a PCAP uploader, which I'll probably uh, actually cover in a later video. But if we go to repositories and then you go to REPG, this is Red's encrypted payload generator. So if we just scroll down, we've got a quick list of instructions. It's actually super, super easy. Just basically download everything, drag your payload or your PowerShell script onto his encryption script, and it'll just run on its own. Super simple, super easy. So we'll just go ahead and go to download zip. We'll download the whole thing, drop it right to our desktop. All right, open that up and whoops, always go to the other monitor. There we go, extract all. And there we have it. All right, so Red's actually already given us a PowerShell command script that we can kind of take a look at. So this is basically the payload. It's just a hello world script, you know, just like everybody does. Super simple, super easy. All you got to do is take that and drag it onto whichever the command for whatever device you want. So this is for a hack five device flipper, and we have some advanced options that we can change if we have some other devices. But literally, all you got to do is drag it and drop it. Now, what's going on here is that Windows will not run an unsigned script by default, but we can actually fix that. There's one of two ways. Basically, right here, this is actually a bad USB script that Red wrote up. Basically, just load it up to the flipper, run the bad USB on the PC, and then that will basically fix it right there. But there's another way to do it as well. So Red was nice enough to actually hook us up with a PowerShell command right down here. So we can copy this and go into PowerShell. We do want to run PowerShell as administrator. Uh, there we go. Yes. And one thing I have run into is he has it run as remote signed. I redid it as unrestricted is the only way that I can get this to work. However, we can always just switch it back at the end. So if you run the code that's on here, I'll post it in the description. This should work for everything. So if we close this, go back and try this one more time, go to hello world, drag it up here. This is going to run without a problem. So we're going to say run once. A and we're done. So we'll notice down here we have our payload.txt, which is basically now it's a bad USB script with this little cool encrypted part to it. So what's kind of cool is we can go and actually just copy this part right here. Whoops, copy. Hello, there we are. Copy this, and if we go into a base64 decryptor, 
We can go to decode and we can see exactly what the script was before and see how it's working. It's really cool. So that's how Red's encrypted payload generator works. It's a really cool script and I highly recommend checking it out. So moving forward, the key logger. This is cool as hell. I can show you a very little bit of it um, because it is encrypted, but I'm going to have to blur a bunch of this out because I want to make sure nobody really gets it. So this is using a Discord webhook to basically send things to a Discord server. I made an entirely new Discord server just to use this. And you can see down here, again, it's blurred out, but this is all of the encrypted payload. So I'm gonna load it up to my flipper and show you how it all works. All right, so we've got our flipper zero with the script running already in here. All we gotta do is plug it in and hit run. So let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. All right, it's already running. It's opening up PowerShell, and you can see it's running the encrypted script right now. We have our Discord pulled up right here for you to watch as well. As soon as it's uh, done running the actual script, it's going to dump all the credentials to my Discord. All clear, sir. We'll be right back. All right, it also closes PowerShell. So basically, you just plug it in, run the script, and it's gone. And boom, right into my Discord, all of the credentials right there, super fast. It's nuts how well this thing works. So what we're gonna do from here is actually show off how the keylogger works. So it's gonna send anything that I write on the computer into the Discord once per minute and then delete all of its tracks in the process. So let's pull up Notepad and show you how it works. And just wait for it. There it is. I mean, it's super cool and I mean, it's so powerful. It runs without Defender catching it. I haven't disabled any security. It just runs, it just works. Now, Red is an absolute mad lad when it comes to writing payloads. I decrypted it and read through it, and it's so clever in the way he did things. It's really, really cool. However, Red is also a responsible person. So one of the things he threw onto this, just to make sure in case it did leak, he removed persistence. All you have to do is restart the computer and it pretty much deletes itself entirely. That being said, he also gave me a list of features that he could easily add to it. And I absolutely believe he's capable of doing it. Those features include, but are not limited to, uh, persistence on reboot, so it stays on if you reboot, uh, completely hiding all of the files from the operating system, making it so that even if you scan for malware, you don't have to find it, stealing your browser credentials or your history, bunch of stuff there, self-replication where it can move itself around to the network or anywhere else it can go into, basically increasing the speed that it reads characters, you can show all the installed programs, you can also collect all the text, documents, JPEGs, PDFs, whatever, and it can, you know, send them back to Discord just like everything else. Future Squatch again. Remember I said that thing about downloading all the files? Well, guess what? Here it is. All right, so let's fire up Discord one more time. We'll show you what's going on. Let's run the script. All right, run. And you only need to have a flipper plugged in while the script is running. As soon as it's done running, you can unplug it, walk away, and it's perfectly fine running in the background. So we'll give it a few minutes, not even a few minutes, it's about 30 seconds. Let the whole code run and we'll see what happens. All right, so the script is right now done and it's gonna start exfiltrating our files. It's gonna zip everything in all the different folders of those file extensions. And if the folders are too big, it'll actually break them up into smaller files. So it meets Discord's file maximums. It's so crazy how this works. I mean, check that out. Isn't that cool? But there is more. So let me show you the really cool part about it. The way this payload's set up, you can actually have two different kill switches. So we've got the coolstuff.txt is a kill switch, but basically if I change this from a one to a zero, it will deactivate it and delete the script entirely. If I change the kill switch right here, this called kill switch, this will make it so this code will never work. So if I change this to one and run the code, let's see what happens. Commit. So I'll run the code and then we pull up our Discord, it says global kill switch enabled. This means nobody can use this code no matter what they do. If they change the webhook, it still will not run. It's super freaking cool. And that's what Red's been up to. It's absolutely crazy what's going on and how clever this actually works. If I can show you the code, basically it makes it so that the global kill switch is hidden so well inside the code that unless you really know what you're doing, you'll never be able to figure out how to deactivate it. And it can be changed anywhere. It's such a cool thing. All right, so let's get back to last week, me. Yeah, it has the potential to be an absolute monster of a payload. And if you actually don't encode it, it runs even faster. But right now I do have it encrypted so that you can't see exactly how the thing works. 
So I guess that begs the question as to why am I showing you this if I'm not going to be sharing the files? Well, first of all, as an agreement that I had with Red, I said I wouldn't share any of it, and I'm going to hold myself to that. Second of all, it's just a really powerful script, and the way it runs is what makes it as powerful. So it actually would be easier to add features to it than it would be to completely write it from scratch. I actually know a bunch of other bad USB payloads that have all the features we were talking about earlier that could be added to this script, so it would make it way too powerful to be out there. This whole thing was done as a proof of concept just to see if it would work. It's not supposed to be full on malware, it was just a pet project. So that's Red's payload encryptor and Red's keylogger. He's such a great coder, it's absolutely amazing what he's come up with. I absolutely love the Flipper Zero community. People like Red just drop into my DMs and show me stuff I've never seen before. It's absolutely amazing. So thanks a lot to InfoSec Red for everything. It's been a lot of fun playing with your scripts and we'll be looking at more of them in the future. Thanks a lot to all you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. It helps me out a ton. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. We'll catch you next time.